Hey guys, it's Kristen with Three Little Birds Perinatal. I'm actually not in my car today. I'm actually in my daughter's uh, bedroom that is now Three Little Birds Headquarters. You can see our little uh, logo there on the wall. Uh, I've been wanting to do a video because this year as we were planning for 2018, we decided to assign a theme to each month. And all of our resources and information will be rolled out each month in accordance with each theme. So as the calendar turned to the new year, our first uh, focus theme for the year is community. Um, you've heard the old saying, you know, it takes a village to raise a child. And that is certainly true. But what's also true is it takes a village to help a family who has lost a child. And that's at any age, um, even as an adult. But, you know, as you know, our focus is on pregnancy and infant loss. So when a family is just, their world explodes with these different types of tragedies, they are totally left unprepared and unaware of what the weeks and months and, at, you know, that lie ahead in the anniversaries that are coming will be like, and they have to leave the hospital empty, you know, armed and brokenhearted. So we felt it was really important to start off the new year with the tone of community. Uh, we are working really hard uh, to continue to provide all of our support services to our families at no cost. But as we're growing, it's getting increasingly difficult to keep up with all of the requests for information, especially for um, requests for photography services, uh, because that's run through volunteers. And we're at the point now where we need to start seeking um, engagement and support from the community in order to keep developing these programs based on the needs of the families that we serve and who come to us to tell us what their story is and where they felt unsupported and where they did feel supported. So this month, uh, we were focusing on getting our fundraising event plan done so that we can start soliciting for community sponsorships. So we have a couple different opp you know opportunities available for anyone, and they're not all financially based. You know, I'm not really interested in money, even though we do need money to facilitate the organization. But what I'm really interested in is your time and your talent and your big hearts. But um, so, for example, we have several programs that we are uh, facilitating and continuing to develop. Uh, one is our palliative care program. And that program is to support families who receive a life-limiting or uncertain fetal diagnosis. And we have the support of Images Everything Studios here in South Jersey to provide palliative care maternity shoots for families to encourage them to bond and photograph and make memories with their family as it is and support them with all of their needs going forward. We also have uh, Glenda over at Wonder Time. Uh, over, she does the 4D imaging, which if you haven't seen... It is really incredible. So she's just started her business and she's doing incredibly well. And she's going to help us help our families um, this year make tangible memories. So that's just one example of a sponsorship. Um, another is you can be an event sponsor. We are looking to host quite a few fundraisers this year that are going to require the support of the local community, uh, people who have businesses or services that can support us. So, for example, we had um, a couple events in 2017 that were sponsored by small business owners. Uh, Envy Executive Mobile Car Detailing uh, over in Marlton and the Essential Light Worker, Bridget Papagno. Uh, they supported us and they held a fundraiser. Um, which was a simple party. Well, it wasn't a simple party, but it was a party at their house. And everyone who came embraced us. And it really opened up the conversation about pregnancy and infant loss, which is what I'm really more interested in than anything, is shattering the stigma of what it is to be a bereaved parent or to go through something so traumatic. So thank you to them. We also had uh, Toby Castle over at Franks and Beans. She hosted an event with Judy Dingler, my friend over at Seeking Serenity. And um, she does events every month, but particularly in December, she hosted her event uh, to benefit us. So she brought in some support for us and helped us spread our, you know, our word on our services and everything. So we're so grateful for the support of our 
local community and the small business owners that are just giving so much of themselves to help us. So we're so grateful. Now, as I said, Three Little Birds does not provide require payment for any of our services. No one should have to pay for support, especially when they're dealing with losing a baby. So we do still have families that are so grateful for what we've done to help them that they choose to give back. And we are grateful for that support, though we're not, that's not what we're seeking. So the families that provide us um, with donations in their ba in memory of their baby or just because they want to support us, we're offering them several different legacy projects, which will help them tell their baby story. So we're hoping to have a couple legacy videos available next month to show you just what we mean by that. So those are the few different ways that we receive support from the community, but every day that we work on this and we now have committees and subcommittees, it's just growing and we need everyone out there, their big hearts, their time, their, their big mouths to tell everyone about all the work that we're doing because pregnancy and infant loss affects one in every four families. Uh, and with knowing that we know that no one is immune and most likely someone knows somebody or has heard of a story of someone who suffered those types of losses. So we're looking to use the community also to shatter the stigmas associated with that. We have a couple fundraisers coming up. The goal of these fundraisers is not necessarily to raise funds, but again, to promote our services, but more importantly, to connect our community together. We are nesting all of these families together. At no Two families have the same story, even if they both experienced the same outcome or the same, you know, way that it happened. No two stories are the same. And more importantly, no two babies are the same. They're all special and unique and they need to be celebrated. So um, in an effort to, uh, you know, heal ourselves with some art, we're hosting our first crate, Craft and Sip uh, this coming February uh, 9th. I believe it's a Friday night at Images Everything Studios. Uh, our theme for February is appropriately love. So we're going to be creating these beautiful uh, birdhouse uh, succulent night lights uh, that everybody's going to make their own way and in memory of their baby. So if you would like to attend, uh, the cost of your ticket will cover your entry to the event. Uh, the craft that we'll be making and you'll take home with you, the um, camaraderie that you'll receive and the support that you'll receive. Um, and hopefully you'll leave there feeling even more in love with your baby than before. So uh, we hope you'll join us for that. If not, we are also looking for sponsors for that. Uh, I want everybody to mark May 12th down in their calendar because this is going to be our first big community event. And I wish I could tell you more. But we're still working on it, but it's going to be an amazing gathering of all mamas and all the support that's available um, for families raising healthy babies, for families who have experienced loss, and all types of mamas. Uh, and we'll be looking for vendors and service providers to support us in that. So we'll hope to have some information ready to go in the next couple of weeks so that you can jump on board and get involved. We cannot wait. Um, and lastly, I want to talk about the, um, we also accept, like I said, I'm not looking for your money, though we do need money. Uh, I'm not looking necessarily always for your time, but we also accept in-kind donations. And these donations go towards, um, our box program. We have a box program for, um, families who suffer miscarriage. And we also have a box program for families who lose a baby after 20 weeks of pregnancy. And we are going to be rolling out some bigger boxes to support all different types of scenarios and uh, types of support that's needed. So we have a list on our website of items that we collect. Blankets, little bears, journals, uh, forget-me-not seeds. We are looking for someone who makes handmade soaps in the area, who's looking to donate some soaps for us to include in our box. And these boxes go at no cost to the families that we serve, but we also sell them through our Etsy store and our miscarriage box. We sold over 33 of them across the country last year. So we'll be rolling those out, but we do need items to be able to put in there. Um, again, 
the healing that I have received personally by building my own community around me in the, the wake of losing my daughters has put me here today. I don't know sometimes how I get out of bed in the morning. And I know that that's a struggle for a lot of families. And most people who come back to us, even if they never even asked us for support or they just emailed us to find out some more information, they all come back and say to us, I'm just so grateful that you were there. Like that, there was something there. I didn't know what I needed day to day, but I knew that if I did need something, I could look on your website and find what I need. And that to me means more than anything. Um, so we are supporting families. We are changing the way perinatal loss and miscarriage is um, received and seen here in our local community, which is the Philadelphia and South Jersey metro area, but also across the world. So we need your support. We need your big hearts. And we look forward to just building our nest with more empathetic, caring, and supportive uh, little birds like you. So you can always hit us up. Our email address is threelittlebirdsperinatal at gmail.com. Our website is threelittlebirdsperinatal.org. And uh, you can just send us an email, just talk and tell us what you think you could do to help us. And uh, we can put you to work. And I know, particularly, well, everybody, I think, feels healing and happiness when they help others. But for the families who have experienced loss, when they see the healing that they receive and helping other families like them, that is really where we're we're doing the best work. So... We cannot wait to have you join our nest and uh, we'll talk to you more next month, hopefully a little earlier than the end of the month. But next month we're focusing on love, 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 love. Love is why grief hurts so bad, right? So we're going to delve into some topics about love and uh, grief and how you can heal your heart. So take care, everybody. Goodbye.